In this tutorial, I'll show you how to solve allegation problems using the allegation medial method. Let's begin by understanding what allegation is. Allegation is an arithmetic method of solving problems that involve the mixing of ingredients possessing different percentage strengths. There are two types of allegation, allegation medial and allegation alternate. Allegation medial may be used to determine the strength of a common ingredient in a mixture of two or more preparations. For example, say you're a pharmacist that's mixing together known quantities of two or more solutions containing known amounts of an active ingredient. The strength of that ingredient in the resulting mixture can be determined using this method. So with that being said, let's begin with question number one. What is the percentage strength, volume per volume of alcohol in a mixture of 3,000 milliliters of 40% volume per volume alcohol 1,000 milliliters of 60% volume per volume alcohol, and 1,000 milliliters of 70% volume per volume alcohol. So pretend that we have three containers. So this is my first container containing 3,000 milliliters of 40%, and the other three containers look like this. All three have a different strength of alcohol, and we combine them into one container. And this one container will obviously have the volume of the sum of these three. 3,000 plus 1,000 plus 1,000 makes 5,000 milliliters. But we don't know the concentration of alcohol in this resulting container containing these three different concentrations coming into one. To find out the concentration, which I'll denote as C, of this container, you find out the amount of active ingredient which in this case is alcohol, in each of these containers, sum them up, and the sum should equal to the amount of active ingredient of this container. Now in case that's confusing to you, here's what I mean. If I wanted to find the amount of active ingredient, or the amount of alcohol in this particular container, what I would do is I would take the quantity and multiply it by the percentage. So I'll take 3,000 milliliters and multiply that by the concentration being 40% made into a decimal is 0 0.4. Now this 40% isn't a unitless value. It's a volume per volume, which means that 0 0.4 milliliters of alcohol is found per one milliliter of the solution. So by multiplying 3,000 and 0 0.4 together, you actually get the amount of active ingredient, which is the alcohol in this container. So using your calculator, 3,000 times 0 0.4 makes 1,200 milliliters of alcohol was found only in that container. So we do this again for this and for that, and we sum up those values. So again, we have 1,000 milliliters of total solution found in here, multiplied to its concentration of 0 0.6. Now that's a decimal value, but we can write it down as a fraction by making it over one. It's 0 0.6 milliliters of alcohol per one milliliter of solution. Multiplying this out, we get 600. 600 milliliters of alcohol. And lastly, for this one, we take 1,000 and multiply it to 0 0.7 milliliters per milliliter, and that equates to 700 milliliters. So as I mentioned, we will be adding this value, that value, and that value together. Let me show you the remainder of the work over here. 1,200 plus 600 plus 700, and that will equal to the quantity times the concentration of that container. Remember, we don't know the concentration of that container. So I'll write down 5,000 times C, which we'll solve next. 1,200 plus 600 is 1,800, plus 700 is 2,500. To solve for C, it's a simple algebraic method by dividing both sides by 5,000, it's actually 5,000 milliliters. 
5,000 milliliters of solution and 2,500 milliliters of alcohol. And this will give us a concentration. 2,500 divided by 5,000 makes 0 0.5 milliliters of alcohol per one milliliter of solution. So that's the concentration of that container. Also remember that the question is asking for a percentage. So make sure that you multiply 0 0.5 by 100% to represent it as a percentage. If you'd like to see the answers to question two and question three, make sure you watch part two of this series, which is now linked on your screen. Hope to see you soon.